Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Precious. I'm here back with another video. By the title, you already know what I'm about to be talking about and it's becoming that girl. I'll be doing my makeup in the video as well. So it's gonna be like a get ready with me chit chatty video. So, so if you wanna see what I have to say in this video, just keep on watching. But before the video starts, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I would truly appreciate it. And yeah, let's jump into the video. Hey you guys. So from the intro, you already know what type of video I'm doing today. And it is becoming that girl. I feel like it's also the it girl, just becoming the baddest, the most rawest, and the most healthiest and the most sexiest version of yourself. Most importantly, inwardly and then outwardly, of course. In this video, I'm just going to be doing a get ready with me and I'm just going to be talking about becoming that girl. Right now, I'm putting on my primer and it's from e.l.f. It's their Poreless Putty Primer. Me personally, I'm definitely on that journey to becoming that girl. I would say I am 25 to 30% there because I really have high expectations for myself and high hopes for myself. But if you was to see me on Instagram or in person, you would think I have it all together. But honestly, to me, I'm like 30% there and I still have like 70% to go. So I think the first and, and the most important thing into becoming that girl is your mindset. Your mindset is the most important thing in becoming that girl. But yeah, as far as your mindset goes, you want to, oh, I got some on my brows. Damn. Sheesh, sheesh. Honestly, who is calling me? First, they're sour. Oh, Sarah. Hey, girl. Then they're sweet. Yes, I am. Okay, guys, I'm back. My bad. That was my friend Sarah. Y'all go subscribe to her YouTube channel. She called me. We just had to catch up real quick. And to become that girl, I feel like it really starts with your mindset and how you view things and how you view yourself. And so I'm just gonna talk about self right now and how you view yourself. Like you should always be loving to yourself. You should always be kind to yourself. You should always just speak loving affirmations over yourself. I feel like that is so important. Even if you don't feel the best or even though you don't feel your best, I feel like it's so important for you to speak positive affirmations over yourself. And this is something that I, I've been doing for a couple years now. Sometimes I lose the habit of speaking positive affirmations over myself, especially when I'm going through like a really dark time. But after that season of me going through a dark time, or even like during the season of me going through a dark time, I start to speak positive affirmations over myself and not just in my head but verbally out loud and don't get me wrong it's not always easy especially when you when you're feeling like really shitty it's not always easy to speak positive affirmations over yourself because i felt like i went through a season of that of speaking like very negative about myself and just view myself in a very negative light but by doing that it only brought more negativity into my life how is one eye different from the other and i'm over here like oh okay that's it but but like I was saying, but when I started speaking positive over my life, although I didn't see a change right then and there, eventually, like it's weird how it happens. Like eventually you'll just wake up and you'll feel so much better. You'll feel like you're on top of the world. I speak whatever I want to attract into my life. And I feel like that is so important because the power of the tongue is like, what you speak is what you'll get. And I truly, 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 truly believe in that. Whatever you speak out is what you'll get. Everyone that speaks out negativity, don't be surprised when, when negativity starts to knock at your door. Not saying that when you're speaking positive Negativity, negativity won't happen. Negativity will still happen at times, but you will have a positive outlook on it instead of a negative outlook on it. So I feel like your mindset, everything to becoming that girl or the person that you see yourself becoming starts with your mindset. So that brings me into my next topic and that is taking care of your mental health and, no and knowing when to detox your mind. Learning when you had enough mentally and just taking that mental break. That's either writing things down just so you could just sort out your thoughts. I feel like a lot of times as humans, we go through so much and we don't take that time to 
take that mental break because every day something is happening. A lot of the times we start to build up that stress or anxiety in our lives. You don't realize you're building it up until it actually in that depression, until you actually have anxiety, until you're actually really stressed out. So every day, that's one thing I, I incorporated into my life is trying to detox my mind. Whatever is bothering me on that day, I try to leave it at that day and not bring it into my next day. So the next thing about becoming that girl is you want to let go of anything that does not serve you. And by that, I mean bad habits, relationships, friendships, anything that doesn't serve you into becoming the, the person you envision yourself becoming, let it go. Please just let it go. I feel like a lot of times people don't want to let it go because either there's been so many years put into that relationship, friendship, etc. And it's like, oh my gosh, I've known this person for X amount of years. I can't just let it go. You should want to hang around people that embody what you want to become. Either if they're trying to become that too or they've already became that. So to add on, you will want to hang around people with the same mindset as you. And that doesn't necessarily mean someone that's unmotivated versus someone that's motivated. That could also mean like, oh, this person wants to become a dentist or a doctor and I want to be an entrepreneur. Yes, these are great things that each of y'all want to achieve, but it's a different route. So right now I'm putting on my powder. But I also believe that there are different types of friendship circles. And that's something I'm learning myself. Like I have my friends that are just friends and, and that's all they'll be to me is just friends. And I don't mean that in a negative way. Of course I love them. If they call me, I'm there. But I'm also learning that I need friendships in the type of career path I wanna take. Because the level of success that I'm trying to achieve and when I say success, I feel like success is different for everyone. How you view success may be different from how I view success. Success to you may be getting your master's degree and climbing up the corporate ladder. But success to me could be being a badass entrepreneur, investor, and stuff like that. The level of wealth that I'm trying to achieve in my life, nobody that I know has ever done it before. And with that being said, I kind of want people around me that we can help each other get to that set goal. Guys, I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little bit tipsy. I didn't realize how much I've actually drank until it set in. So, the fact that I'm still beating my face like this. I feel like another important thing into becoming that girl is to learn yourself. Know what you want out of life. Granted, you may not know exactly what you want out of life, but have an idea of what you want out of life because that can also help you choose the people you want to keep in your life and the people you want to take out your life. And that is something big that I'm learning because especially this year, I've been really serious to learn what exactly I want out of life and the type of people I want around me and the type of friends I want around me, the people I want close to me is so important to me. And the type of support I want from the people close to me is so important to me. Because even now, I just want just genuine ass people around me, loving ass people around me. If at any point, you make me feel like I can't be genuine and loving to you. I'm not gonna sit up here and be fake. I'll just let that relationship go, period, point blank. I'll just let that shit go. Because if this relationship has to jeopardize my character to the type of person that I'm trying to move towards, then I'll just let that relationship go. It sounds a little harsh, but I feel like when you become serious about growing and just peeling off that old layer of skin, some things you have to sacrifice. That could be a relationship, that could be a friendship, that could be bad habits. Some things you just have to sacrifice. In becoming that girl, or in other words, that person that you just see yourself becoming, the ultimate version of yourself. And you know, some people in your life may just be there for a season. So one thing I learned in this journey and becoming that girl, I'm getting really tired of saying that, but one thing I learned in becoming that girl 
is that honestly, sometimes it's gonna feel very lonely because nobody can make you become the best version of yourself but you. Let me repeat that for the people in the back. Nobody can get you to the best version of yourself but yourself. There will be people along the way to help you with different seasons, different steps that you need to take to become the best version of yourself, but nobody can get you there but yourself. Speaking on behalf of myself, some days I may want to like go out and hang out with friends, but I know I have a website to build. I'm not at the end of my journey yet, but I just know the sacrifices I'm making to becoming the best version of myself will be worth it. Uh, another way to become the best version of yourself is to take care of yourself. Drink your water, take your vitamins, work out. That doesn't mean you over here have to become Hulk Hogan and do some crazy weight lift, but go for a walk in the park, journal, get a planner. That's something that I've done this year, seriously. I've never actually used a planner before. I thought they were pointless, but this year I started to take planning seriously. And when I tell you, it takes so much pressure off of me because I just do the things I need to do that I set for those days. Who would have thought? Not me. Sometimes you may feel like you're not doing anything, nothing is changing, or sometimes you may feel like you're going through hell. But I remember um, Steve Harvey said, if you're already going through hell, why would you want to stay in hell? Would you want to get out of it? I would say it's not really an easy journey, but I feel like it is a journey worth taking. I feel like everybody should be the best version of themselves because you never know what you can do, who you can impact. Like, it's such a beautiful thing into seeing someone become the best version of themselves. I think it's such a beautiful thing. A couple other things I learned into becoming the best version of myself is to, in understandable terms, break generational curses. Let me start by saying, first gen. So my parents immigrated from Nigeria to America. Some of the generational curses I want to break. And you know, it's so small. And that's the thing. Generational curses don't have to be super big, like poverty or divorce. Pretty much what generational curses are to me is unlearning bad habits that's been passed down. So one of the things that I've been unlearning is that there is only one way to make money. That is a lie. And when I mean by one way, I mean the traditional route. Either working for corporate, being a doctor, being a lawyer, working some type of nine to five. I feel like there are people that put so much fear into not going into the traditional route that people don't even try to make, to make money in different ways. Honestly, if you want to become extremely wealthy or whatever you want to do in life, but I'm really honestly speaking from my point of view because this is the type of stuff I want to achieve in life, but you have to have multiple streams of income and that doesn't mean having six physical jobs. Like it means having different investments, real estate, etc. But I realize even being first generation American and the values that my parents carried over from Nigeria, that it's all about becoming a doctor, a lawyer, or having X amount of degrees. Not saying that those degrees may not help. Yeah, but that's some of the things I had to unlearn. Y'all, please ignore this little line right here. I kind of messed up a little bit, but my lashes will cover it up, so. I'm not too worried about the. Another thing that I have been unlearning is learning how to be vulnerable with my emotions emotions and learning how to not be nonchalant when something really bothers me and learning how to show love. I feel like now I'm really good at showing love, but before, if I'm being honest, I wasn't. Something as small as that is just giving a hug. I used to cringe when I had to give hugs, but now I love giving hugs or even using loving words, like calling people beautiful or calling people love, like, oh my gosh, hey love, or, or calling people sweetie or even being loving to kids. Not saying that I was like not loving, but more so being more gushier. Like when you see a baby, and you know how people see babies and just like, oh my gosh, look at the little baby. And you know, and they do the little baby voice. I was never good at that whatsoever. I was terrified to show love. And that is something 
that I wanted to change for my generation, like of course with my kids and my husband. The word love will be used every day in my household. And just being vulnerable with my feelings towards my kids so they will know that it's okay to have emotions. And it's okay to use your emotions if you're sad. If you're sad, then cry. It's okay to cry. There's nothing wrong with crying. Like with my parents, I always see them cry. I have never seen my dad cry. But for my mom, I probably only see her cry twice in my life. I want it to be normal in the household I want to build with my family. But yeah, that is some of the things that I am unlearning. Another thing I want to talk about is it should always, it should always, and I mean always be me versus me nobody else is all it should always be you versus you always and the last thing i want to leave off with that in this journey of becoming the best version of myself this life is made up of your choices your choices affect your future you can choose to get up early and get multiple stuff done in that day or you could choose to sleep in and only get one or two things done that day this life is really just made up made up of your choices like literally and that's something that started to really resonate with me now my choices really affect how my life plays out okay you guys so this is the end of the video thank you for staying to the very end if you liked my advice on becoming the best version of yourself please like comment and subscribe and also in the comment let me know what else you want to see also in the comments keep the discussion going on other ways to become the best version of yourself or becoming that girl follow me on all my social medias which is press underscore is and that is p-r-e-s-h underscore i-s and that is for instagram twitter snapchat tiktok like every app i am press underscore is so it won't be hard to find me thank you guys for tuning into this video i love you guys and i will catch you in my next video bye